In this DVD, we're going to explore an advanced level of cutting. We've already covered in the previous two DVDs, we've covered the nidangiri, the two-level cut, the three-level cut, and the four-level cut. In this DVD, we're going to cover more cuts on a single mat and adding to it a flat cut, or yokoichi monji. The first cut we're going to discover is a godangiri, or a five-level cut, cutting the mat into six separate pieces. We're going to start with a kesa, a second kesa, a kiriyage, a kesa, and a yokoichi monji. Be sure to keep your cases at a 45 degree angle if possible, and the yokoichi monji as flat as possible. Adding to the Godangiri cut, we're now moving on to Rokodangiri. Rokodangiri is a six level cut. It's the final cut in this DVD series you'll be learning. It divides the target into seven separate pieces. It's very important on the last and final cut, the Yokuchi Monji or Suihei, the flat cut, that we don't get too close to the peg, the retaining peg that comes up into the mat. So you want to make sure that you've used only enough mats so you don't clip the peg. In competition cutting, Clipping that peg would be uh, a deduction. So remember to keep your cuts at 45 degree angles and your flat level cuts as, as uh, even to the floor as possible. This technique starts with a left to right kesa, moving backward, a right to left kesa, another right to left kesa, a rising kiriyage, another right to left kesa, and a flat yokoichi monji or suihei. Now that you've learned the Rokudangiri, make sure that you leave enough mat to complete all six cuts. Please follow along as Shimabu Koro Sensei teaches you how to do the Rokudangiri. This is a very high level of cutting uh, at this point. This DVD will take you up to the black belt level. 